Hey everybody, it's Shuka, and I found this game called The Night of the Rabbit on Steam. And it's supposed to be really good, it's supposed to be a story, more of a story time kind of game. And I thought it would be a little bit different from what we normally do, and I thought it would be really nice to try it, so let's get started guys. And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. This game is a point-and-click adventure, and it's a little bit different from what we normally play, but I thought it would be a lot of fun to try out, and it's supposed to be really good. I don't know anything about the game going in, so let's find out. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, who are you? I don't know. Can you not speak? Guess not. Hmm? Does that mean you don't know? I guess so. Are you lost? Yes, I'm lost. Oh, so you're looking for the beginning of your story. I guess so. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> You have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. I hope not. You aren't, are you? No. All right. To find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. Alright, so I guess we'll just continue to follow this guy. There you are. Now we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand, well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Really? It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something? That was weird. The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. Look at this. Over here, it kind of looks like a face. That's... That's really cool. I really like the art style on this. It's very pretty. Oh look! Look at our face. We're a little rabbit. We look kind of mean though. Oh, pretty. There's your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. Do I? I'm sure we shall meet again. 
Unless the fog thickens more, I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Alright, well, there we go. Cool. Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. All right, cool. Oh, that's really pretty. The art. After a long nice. summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. What do you want, um? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine! You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Ha-ha! <laughs> like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Um, hello? Uh, hello? Hello, hello! <laughs> you did very well. <laughs> Thanks. But how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. You're probably thinking, I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Man, he's good. And you know what? What? You can. It's our mm. program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So, keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object to look at. Hmm. How about that basket on the windowsill? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead then. But I want to click on other stuff. Eh, fine. That's the way. That's good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. Very good. Go. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. Who should I show the basket to? I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. 
Man, he's good. Wow. It's as if he's talking to you. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. Alright. Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. Nice. That's fantastic. You Could liar. you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie. Of course. Oh, boy. Pick blackberries, check. Congratulations! You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? What? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? <laughs> Never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. <laughs> okay, well, let's pick some of these. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't eat them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. School. <laughs> Can I take that carrot? I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes. And an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Hmm, cool. strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long-extinct mammal. The Gremlin Wolf. What? Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. Okay, can we eat some more? Mmm, sweet and juicy. Okay. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. What? Jerry, uh, I... Uh, okay, yeah. I already heard... School. Yeah, all, right. <laughs> all right, come over here. What's this? What? Secret stash? Hmm. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. <laughs> As usual. The coast is clear. My secret stash. Of what? Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin! <laughs> okay, let's... Oh! Ah, better not leave it open. You never uh, know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my scent. Oh, this kid, oh my gosh. Okay, pick... Uh, pick up these, I don't know. Ho ho, ho ho, they look delicious. Pick them. Do you have to eat everything? Blech, they're sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Hmm. It must be the bright red colour. Okay, what about mm, the mailbox? Eh, empty. I oh. think Mum already picked up the mail. Okay, um, what about... Can you do anything about the kite? No, it's just... Uh... Oh, it's up here. Dry as a bone. Hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. Okay... Oh, abandoned nest? Didn't even see it? Huh, sparrows used to live in that nest. Hmm, maybe we'll have eggs next spring. And is there anything else that we can click on? Oh, oh okay, that's going into the next area. Weathered statue. We call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. <laughs> okay. Anything hmm. else? I'd say so. ever since I'm so much. Yeah. All right. So, what about the radio? Can we touch it again? As so many of our listeners have requested it, we'll now repeat up. Oh, I'm getting to to prepare for our exercise. Wow, it's a good. All right, go and 
say. Uh, my school stuff is in their way. But, at least until lunch, and at three, there's a new episode of Future Dogs, Four-Legged Time Travelers. What? Okay, so we're not going inside, obviously. And what the heck is that? A hat? Alright, let's go, I guess, around the corner and pick blackberries for blackberry pie. Okay. Ah, oh, this is pretty. Uh, I can't count the times I got a splinter trying to climb it. What about the coke can? Who dumps their trash here in the woods? Huh, unbelievable. I know, people are so rude. Oh, what's. Mum always says I should be careful not to get lost in the woods. Then I always say, hey, I'm 12, and I know the woods like the back of my hand. Although I must admit, it's pretty spooky in there after sunset. Okay, what else can we click on? Huh. Mum says there used to be important trails to faraway places here, long before there were cars. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. What's that wall? The owl's wall. It goes all the way to the big tree in the woods. Can we go up it? Okay, well I guess... Oh. Can we pick those? Oh, there we go. Can you, can you go up there? The owl's wall. Alright. So I guess you have hmm. to have an item to pick it, so... Come on over here. Oh, look at that! That's cool. Uh, the town looks so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you what? could see. No, but seriously. Since they built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School. <laughs> Only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. Uh, although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. Did you see that hedgehog run by? That's crazy. Alright. Anything over here? Let's look at that guy. Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy. Other times I think it looks needy. I what? wonder why. Did you rhyme on purpose? Hmm. It looks so... satisfied. Can we just... That prickly those? bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. Ow! Ah, you win this round, Bramble Bush. Are we gonna get bitten by a spider? Ah! There are blackberries back there, but this Bramble Bush is in the way. Okay, so we need to find a way to get back there, so... Look at the rabbit statue! So cute. Alright, let's go that way, because why not? Maybe we'll find a stick or something that we can use. It's so quiet here, like the town is miles away. Look at that rock. What? Uh, what am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. So just carry it over here. Uh, I'll put the heavy rock back. That's uh, really hard on the arms. That's funny. What is that face? I always used to sit on this rock, huh, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. No, you're not. What is this? You can draw really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. Cool. Huh. You never know. Can you take another one? Crumbly chalk it. stones. If I hadn't already taken one. Okay. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway. This is now a dead end. Oh, the owl's the wall. wall. It runs between the trees. Let's look at these mushrooms. Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm. I'd rather not meet any. Aw, oh, stop being a baby. You I used to fish once. for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear. But sometimes it smells just awful. I can't believe I just said YOLO. Oh my god. 
What about, um, anything? I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this- anyway. This- Okay, can you just walk over here? What about up there? Can you walk up there? I used to fish oh, for tadpoles. Oh, I see a stick. Here. The water act was some- Grab it. I'll take that. Thank you. Perfect. So I think now we can actually go back and knock those berries around and get some. Oh, can we knock some acorns around too? Hmm. Mum always says so, then I always say I'm 12, although I must- it's pretty- Okay. So let's get this and smack ha. it. I could do this in my- Whoa! Nice. Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. Cool, pick them up. Why did you leave those there? Come on, you can pick those up. What is that? You made yourself comfortable, lazy bones. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Come on, come in, come on. Alright. Get this, again. And... I don't know, smack them. Alright, I have no other choice. There we go. Ah! No bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. Okay. Now pick they some. look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the basket. Can you pick these two? They also look like they need picking. And then let's knock that thing off. Because why not? Good idea. Uh oh. There we now go. Now it's off. Pick They're them. screaming to be picked. Nom. Going to be delicious. Okay. Is there. Anything else we can mess around with? Actually, what was that? Was that something that was on there? No, it was just a bush. Just a weird shape. Okay, and... I guess we're gonna end this episode right here, guys. And we will pick up in the next one. I hope that you're really enjoying it. It's supposed to be a really good story. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I'll see you next time guys. Thank you so much.